Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome to our NFL picks for the wild card round, the expanded wild card round going on this upcoming weekend. As you're seeing, it is currently Friday night, Saturday morning. The playoffs start tomorrow or today, depends on what day you, you see this. And you know, we're going to be talking about all picks. Again, we're here with Drew. You know, he's coming out here, spending some time with us. You know, another podcast coming out Sunday. Shout out to that. We're currently doing a double recording session here. But yeah, Drew, how you doing real quick? I'm hanging in there, man. I'm, I'm excited. We got some, some really, uh, we got expanded playoffs. So we got six games coming up. Uh, I'm going to look at this with a little bit of a betting kind of lens because I've been doing a lot of that. So, so for those of you trying to get some more viewers here, for those of you that are, uh, you know, betting against the spread, I'm here to help. Um, I like money and I want to give you some. <laughs> All right, exactly. So, you know, that's what we're going to be talking about. We'll be, he, he's been doing the betting. I'm give giving Matt just the looks, outlook on the teams and, you know, what I think about them through the little bit of fantasy football and a little bit I did watching the season. Again, before we start, hit that like and subscribe. Always helps us out. Let us know in the comment section below if you guys want more NFL content on our expand to other things. Again, if you're wondering about the expansion, watch our podcast coming out Sunday. We will have more in depth about that then. Starting off, we have the Indianapolis Colts at the Buffalo Bills. Who you got in this game? Well, this is, a, this is a tough game to pick. Um, I mean, the Bills, they've been great. And don't get me wrong. I mean, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs. I mean, just a wonderful defense, a great coach in Sean McDermott. They have been solid. Um, but they've been off for a few weeks now. They haven't played a real, you know, the meaningful games because they kind of clinched early. The Colts had to fight their way all the way in until the last week. And it's a, that's six and a half points. Giving the Bills six and a half, that's a lot. It's a lot of points. Um, you know, I know it's at home, but really, does the home field advantage mean that much? Eh, I see the Bills winning a squeaker. So if I'm a betting man here, I take the points. I, I, I take the Colts and the points. Six and a half. I think the Colts keep it to a field goal game. I think it could even be closer. I think it could be, you know, one or two point game. Uh, but I, I do like the Bills to win, but I'm taking the points and the Colts. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I'm going to, you know, go along with you here. You know, the Colts, I had their, their their defense, probably the best fantasy defense going on during the regular season. Colts, you know, Phillip Rivers still slinging it back there. You know, he is very old as well when you talk about players like Tom Brady and stuff like that. But, again, the Bills, solid defense. I think Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, you know, I feel like that is going to be a great connection to watch for coming up in the postseason. The Bills are back playing meaningful football. Again, back in the playoffs, I definitely think the Bills are going to be the team to beat in this game. Moving on to the Rams at the Seahawks. Who you got in this game? Well, I, I think this one is a lock, and I think it's the Seahawks. And, uh, I mean, I'm surprised. I am surprised that it's only a three-point spread for the Seahawks. Um, Jared Goff is mostly not, most likely not going to play. And even if he does play with that injured thumb, I don't know how effective he's going to be. The Seahawks have already handled the Rams at home this year. They split the season series. Um, but the Seahawks are just – they're an all-around juggernaut. They've got – Russell Wilson, first of all, who's just, I mean, MVP, um, you know, 48 touchdowns, five interceptions. I mean, just incredible numbers. But they also have got DK Metcalf, who this guy, I mean, he can literally take over a playoff game. He's that good as a receiver. Don't forget about Tyler Lockett. Um, they've, got a, they've got a great defense as usual. They're at home, which does matter because the Rams, they just don't play well on the road. Um, they don't play well at home either, particularly. So I, I'm, I just don't see the Rams really competing in this game. And if you're a betting man or a woman, uh, you take the Seahawks and the points. I mean, they, they will win the game outright, but definitely, definitely take the Seahawks and the points. Easy. Yeah, for, yeah, for sure. And, you know, the Seahawks, I have the same thing here. Again, did watch the Christmas game against the Seahawks and the Rams. Again, very low scoring throughout the first quarter. I feel like the uh, Christmas day and, you know, that weekend, there was a lot, a lot of, you know, low scoring games. You know, I was very surprised. Again, the Niners beat out the Rams. You know, Aaron Donald, definitely a player to watch. You know, that defensive line for the Rams. If they can be getting to Russell Wilson and creating some third and longs, fourth and longs, they do have a shot. But like you said, I really – it's really hard to see the Seahawks, you know, not winning here, especially, you know, them prevailing, scoring a couple of touchdowns late in the game against that very, very good Niners defense, which is arguably better than the Rams. Moving on to the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Washington football team. Who you got in this one? 
Well, the, the late game tomorrow on Saturday, this is an interesting game um, for a number of reasons. I mean, we've talked about Tom Brady and how amazing he has been and really what, he, you know, he's put this team back on the map and it tells you everything you need to know about what happened in New England, how maybe, maybe New England wasn't as good as we thought they were. And it was really more of Tom Brady. I mean, this guy, you know, at his age, you know, 44 years old or whatever he is, I mean, it's amazing what he's doing. And then you look at the Washington football team with Alex Smith, who you'll see on, on our podcast. I mean, I feature him. He, he has been amazing. I mean, to, to come back from that injury, that gruesome injury, and almost lose his leg and bring this team, you know, under these circumstances, and, you know, the, the type of season that it's been, his, his head coach, you know, Ron Rivera, actually coaching with cancer. Um, they have been, uh, you know, a really great story. I know Dwayne Haskins had his issues the end of the year. Um, the problem with Washington is they just don't score. They just don't score enough. And I know they have a great defense and Chase Young, um, you know, absolutely demolishing the quarterback. But Tampa Bay built their team around their offensive line so they could protect Tom Brady. The only thing that's saving the, the – I almost said it. I almost said the team name they used to be. The only thing saving the Washington football team is the spread here. If you're, if you're into betting and it's an eight point spread. So Washington has been given eight and because their defense is so good. I see this as a seven point game. I see like a, you know, 24 to 17 or a 24 to, you know, a, a 20 to 13 kind of game. And if that's the case, Washington covers the spread. So I, I'm going to go ahead and say Tampa Bay wins the game outright by seven, but Washington covers. All right. Yeah, exactly. You know, I kind of have the same thing. Tampa Bay definitely, it should be a, you know, with Brady should be a wash, but again, you know, Washington, you know, getting in there, Alex Smith, what a story that is. Again, we talked about him on the podcast, you know, that very strong Washington defense. I will be rooting for the Washington football team, but you know, because I'm just not, you know, Brady is not my cup of tea, especially with the deflate gate, you know, all that, you know, with the Raiders and stuff like that, you know, I had a Raiders teacher in uh, middle school that, uh, you know, Drew here knows a lot about him, but, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, definitely me cheering on. I won't the, mention his name. Yeah. <laughs> definitely be cheering on the Washington football team here, you know, Brady, and the Wash and the Buccaneers, you know, the Gronkowski, definitely a team that is probably easily going to win this. You know, I don't, like you said, I don't think Washington has the offense, but definitely go Washington football team, beat Brady, beat the Buccaneers. All right, moving on to the next one. We have the Baltimore Ravens at the Tennessee Titans. Who you got in this one? This is going to be a great, I think this is the game of the weekend. Um, it's a rematch of last year's divisional. Uh, it is a, this is going to be a physical, tough, football game and interestingly enough the titans are have been um they are an underdog at home which is rare um you know usually usually those teams are the favorites but i think that bodes well i think that does bode well for the titans i really do i, I think they are a team especially with derrick henry that has proven to themselves they can win a big game I feel sorry for Lamar Jackson. He still has yet to win a postseason post game. I do not think he does here. Uh, I think it's closer than, you know, some people might expect. Uh, some people are picking the Ravens to win big. I, I, I see the Titans winning this game by 10 points. Yeah, I'm going to be agreeing here with you. You know, my, my, the country in me, you know, big country person here. If you guys did not know, that's a fun fact about me. I got the Tennessee Titans, you know, back Tennessee, Nashville. You know, just big thing. Derrick Henry has gone absolutely insane the last few weeks. You know, I traded from a fantasy team and probably my biggest fantasy football scam I do. You know, if you ever play fantasy with me, shout out. I will scam you. So make sure to be watching those trades. But, you know, Derrick Henry has absolutely been going insane. You know, Ryan Tannehill, A.J. Brown, have him on my fantasy team too. So, you know, A.J. Brown made a big catch, you know, keep Tennessee to clinch that division last week. I definitely, definitely think that the Titans are going to be controlling this game here. You know, it's hard to see the Titans lose at home here, and especially against the Ravens. You know, I have not seen it out of Lamar, you know, very well. Like you said, physical game, the game of the week probably. And, you know, for me, Titans are my postseason team. I'm going the Titans here all the way through. 
All right, final game. We have the Bears against the Saints. Who you got in this game? Well, I would say, normally I would say, you know, this is a blowout because, you know, normally teams that are eight and eight or below, like the Bears are, um, you know, they, they don't usually do well in the postseason. Although there's an interesting stat out there, the last seven teams that have gone into the postseason uh, 500 or lower, they've actually covered the spread in all seven of those games. Because sometimes the team that is, you know, supposed to win, you know, they, they don't quite uh, blow them out like you think they would. But, I mean, I, I, think, I, I think the Saints are going to win this game. Um, the Bears are inconsistent. But if you're a betting, I think that there's some value in this as the Bears are getting 10 points. Um, I see an, a circumstance where this is a, a two-touchdown game and the Bears score late. Uh, you know, because the Saints haven't really been blowing anybody out this year, you know, for the most part. They've, they've had a lot of close games. I mean, they did blow the Bears out in uh, Chicago. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the Saints win this game 35-27. With the, with the Bears scoring a late, 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 meaningless touchdown and a two-point conversion. <laughs> so take the points and the Bears, the Saints will win outright. Yep, and you know, this it's going to be hard to see the Saints lose again. The Saints, you know, Taysom Hill, you know, I was, you know, watching that story, him tight end quarterback while Drew Brees is out. And, you know, Kamara, six touchdowns, you know, blew out the um, Vikings. He said very few. But, you know, it's, like you said, interesting with eight and eight teams, you know, 500 teams in, in the postseason in the NFL. Another thing, you know, Nick Foles, you know, last time he was slated to, you know, in a probably not winnable game for the Eagles, look what he did. You know, he beat out Brady and the, you know, beat out Brady and the Patriots. So, you know, Nick Foles, again, another story to watch. You know, he, he, he works some magic to, in Philadelphia. So maybe if you're a Bears fan, you might be able to get some magic here. But, yeah, overall, it's hard to see the Saints losing. The Saints are definitely a powerhouse team. They're probably going to be a team to beat. Moving on to the final game now, we have the Browns at the Steelers, a rematch of this last week. Who you got in this game? Blowout, Steelers. I, I'm telling you, this is their game. It is the perfect situation for the Steelers. They have six. They're, they're being given um, – the Browns are being given six at home. The Steelers easily win this game by two touchdowns. No, no other comment needed. The Browns will not win this game. They were lucky to get to the postseason. They, I do not trust Baker Mayfield. I do not trust OBJ, uh, OBJ. I think the Steelers have had some time to regroup. They, they went through their little – I'm glad that they went through their little bad stretch before the postseason. It's, it's a collision course now uh, between the Steelers and the Chiefs. For and I and I have a feeling the Steelers are going to beat the Bills, but that's maybe for next week. Um, but it's a collision course between the uh, Steelers and the Chiefs to get to the Super Bowl. I like the Steelers in this game from a point standpoint and an outright. Yeah, and you know, for me, you know, while it's a rematch of last week, which did have some oddities, you know, but Ben Rosselberger did not play, you know, some of the Steelers defense did not play, so they kind of like almost skipped the Browns, you know, that that entry into the playoffs last week. But, you know, definitely an interesting game to watch. You know, Baker Mayfield and practically the entire Browns team's first entrance. Definitely something to watch out for, for the Browns, too. Um, actually, a couple things. One, the Browns head coach, uh, Steph Gonsi, and two other coaches, offensive guard Joel Bonito and wide receiver, have tested positive for COVID Tuesday. So that's what I was talking about. They've tested positive. And then, again, you know, something else to watch for, for the Browns is, you know, Nick Chubb, you know, the running back situation there. If the, if the Browns are going to keep the game close, I definitely think it's going to be in the running game. If they can run the ball, you know, deep into the Pittsburgh defense, I definitely think that they have a chance. But, again, Pitt, Pittsburgh was probably the worst undefeated team, you know, go to go that long, you know, probably in history. You know, I, I just didn't see anything with the his, – with, with Pittsburgh as probably you do. So, you know, just different views on the, the, on the Steelers. But yeah, thank you guys for watching our NFL predictions of the wild card weekend. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let us know your prediction comment section below. Again, we'll be coming back next week with some more predictions. I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching. Win some money, everyone.